Let's get the hell out of here then. I really don't feel like getting burnt to a crisp. Yeah, stand up, let's go! What do you think this place is? The public jail? Uh, don't worry, we won't be staying long. I just couldn't think of anywhere else we could take a guy we kidnapped. Did it have to be here, though? Sorry. You're not gonna torture him, are you? I can't. <laughs> this guy's the director of Bleach Japan. He led an Omi Alliance army into Ijincho. Thanks to him, the Great Wall of Muscles about to come down. Hmm? Is that true? Yeah. So do you really want to let him walk out of here? Think about it. Hmm. Not really. No, 
okay. Just be gone by morning. We got it. Boy, do I have a lot of questions for you, Ogasawara-san. Lucky it's a long time till sunrise. Yo, Sachan. How's Namba? He ran off to go see his brother. It's really cute how he wants to check on him. Yeah, I couldn't be happier for the guy. Uh, same with me. I didn't think he'd make it, to tell you the truth. It's nice to hear some good news for once. Yeah. Even if it means Nanba will probably be saying goodbye soon. Makes sense. He only came here to look for his bro. Not like he's got much reason to hang with us anymore. Yeah, I realize that. In the meantime, we need to get this guy talking. Get started then. <laughs> I'm Gagum. Don't you dare shout. Try anything funny, you'll catch hell. Try to run, you get hit. Don't answer a question, you get hit. 
That's how it has to be. Now, how did you fall in with the Omi Alliance? I notice when you tell them to jump, they ask how high. Why is that? Remember the rules for not answering a question? Let's not resort to beating him just yet. Huh? But if we go easy on him, he's just gonna... As we speak, the Omi Alliance may well be looking for you. But, it's going to take them some time. How competent are they? Will they get here before we finish peeling off your fingernails? him what he thinks about forcing us to burn down our own home. Huh. Personally, I won't be stopping at just the fingernails. Get it? We're serious. Now tell us how you're connected to the Omi Alliance. Why are you the one holding their leash? I'm not the one holding the leash. I didn't really think you were. Who is, then? You know. Ryo Aoki. Yes. You all know him? Who doesn't know the governor? The real question is, what's his real name? Don't play dumb. We've done our homework. Uh, what? Masato Arakawa. Uh, how do you know that name? A long time ago, I knew him as the Young Master. He knew me as Ichi. Back when the Arakawa family was still in the Tojo clan. Ryo Aoki really is Masato Arakawa, huh?
I met him almost 20 years ago, when we were studying abroad in America. He was majoring in political economics and sharp as attack. Was he going by Rio Alki when you met? Yes. I didn't learn his other name until later. Was he in a wheelchair? No, but I heard he used to be, which actually I don't understand. Was he, really? Yeah. Then he must have gotten treatment in the U.S. You can get anything there if you have enough money, even unapproved medical procedures. So he had money? <laughs> he certainly lived a lavish lifestyle. I could tell he was wealthy right away. I figured it couldn't hurt to get to know the guy better. Kiss ass. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I mean, sure, I knew he was rich, but I didn't know he was that rich. And it was shocking to learn about all his connections to the criminal underworld. I was just amazed at all the opportunities he'd grown up with. And yet... What? He wasn't satisfied with any of it. Not even a little bit. He wanted something completely different. What was that? Front-facing power. Front-facing power? That was his term for it. He used to say not everyone can be controlled by Yakuza threats or bribes. People like that can only be controlled with front-facing power. Power you could see. Basically, popularity. Popularity? What, you think that's something only a teenager would want? Well, sure. Then you don't understand democracy. Under that system, it's the only path to power. As long as you're well-liked by the majority, you can get away with anything. I hate politics. His money and criminal connections he called his rear-facing power. He said without the front-facing part, his power wasn't complete. So he decided. To become governor of Tokyo. Yes. He said the governor had the most front-facing power of anyone in the country. Does he? Isn't the prime minister above him? The prime minister is just a figurehead chosen internally by the citizens' liberal party.
So essentially, you only become prime minister by having a few friends on the inside. But to be governor of Tokyo, that takes real popularity. 10 million people have to like you. Every vote you get represents a tiny bit of the power you have. But what about the power of money? The Prime Minister controls the national budget. <laughs> but Tokyo's budget alone is 14 trillion yen. That's more than some countries. So the governor has both an incredible amount of money and the support of the public. <laughs> Who can compete with that? Ryo Aoki knew all of this. He wanted that governor's seat long before I met him. But I was happy to become a partner in his grand plan. Step one was founding Bleach Japan. <laughs> you think you're his partner, huh? You sure you're not his servant? Take it from me. The young master can really crack a whip. Was it his idea to form Bleach Japan, or was it yours? It was his. And getting rid of all the Grey Zones was him too? Yes. Although when he first explained it, <laughs> I thought it was pretty naive. But you went with it anyway. Why? Because I knew he could use the Arakawa family to recruit lots of people fast. It was an advantage no other political figure had. I knew that then, and I was right. Pretty soon, he was delivering results. For me, following him was a win-win situation. <laughs> the young master knows exactly how to use puppets like you. Guys who get all weak in the knees just for some cash and power. Come on, can't expect me not to make fun of a suck-up like you. So what happened next?
Early on, people thought of Bleach Japan as a small advocacy group of nice young idealists. Our only goals were to eradicate corruption and make society fair and equal. We marched around the city shouting those demands over and over. Really? Sounds like a waste of time and money. I thought so too at first, but Aoki knew exactly what he was doing. He had his ear to the ground. He knew what society wanted. What do you mean? Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society. Words like that have a lot of appeal. thought it was naive, sure, but deep down it was exactly what they wanted. So people would praise us for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. But all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. Exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to seem hip. Those types are everywhere. You can hardly walk down the street without bumping into them. They came to us in droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. We even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced, and that attracted more people. It was funny to see those girls bring in guys who claimed to be so passionate about the cause. <laughs> Hell, that's how we got Kume, now that I think about it. It took some time, but eventually we had members all across the country. <laughs> that gave us an unexpected bonus. What bonus? Turns out when you attack gray zones, the corrupt local politicians start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> they just can't resist. They're too addicted to money and influence. So a bunch of corruption was going on. It was so easy to grease their palms, or even blackmail them. I mean, so often we would just stumble across info that would completely ruin them if it went public. You call that a bonus? 
It's a bonus when you can make politicians do whatever you want. <laughs> Makes you even worse than the politicians. How many members does Bleach Japan have now? If you count all permanent employees at every branch, we're 500 strong. Wow, 500 tight asses. But then there's the 100,000 people who join us for marches. 100,000? Yep. And here you have their leader tied up and pissed off. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. May I ask you a question now, Kasuga-san? Shoot. Why are you here? Aren't you ex Arakawa? You know, if you want back in the family, I could put a word in with the governor. Hmm. Think about it. How do you benefit from helping the Ejin Three anyway? Why not leave all this trouble behind you? Yeah, trouble's a good word for it. Right? So, why not let me go now? It'd make both our lives easier. Look, I don't want back in the family. But I'm no ally of the Ejin Three either. No? I just want to get the guy who killed my boss. In fact, when all this started, I didn't know a damn thing about Mabuchi or your plan. <clears throat> Get the picture now, kiss ass? We're not doing this for ourselves. We're doing it because someone picked a fight. And weird, unfortunately for you, you're the guy who picked the fight. <clears throat> hey, you're the one who asked the dumb question. Think before you open your mouth next time. <laughs>